Good evening, guys. Good evening and happy Vows Day. So we had our final exams today for the third semester, and of course, I am so happy. Today is Vows Day. Happy Vows Day. Done with the semester's exam, and I'm heading out on a movie date. Not a movie date. I'm taking myself out to watch a movie because it's Vows Day and. I just want to go out regardless of if you have a partner or not make sure you yourself you're happy and also take yourself out if you want to so let me show you guys my outfits quickly so guys i'm done watching the movie this is past 11, like 11.30. 11 so the title of the movie is Just For You. So guys, I'm done. This is like 11.30. The movie was actually interesting. It was an interesting movie. I loved it. I really, really love it. I think if I'm to rate the movie, I will rate it um, 8 or 7 over 10. And the reason is because it's not a movie for kids. It's not a movie for teenagers. For me, I feel like it's more advanced movie, like maybe 18 and above kind of movie. That's one. Secondly, also was the fact that you know they had a way of of balancing like same-sex marriage and you know normal or mixed marriage you guys because in the movie they had like a same-sex marriage like two females who wanted to get married and also they had like you know a man and a woman kind of marriage i understand the fact that they're trying to push out the agenda of same-sex marriage or trying to you know like make those people also feel good but i think that's basically it overall it was an interesting movie aside that you know that's the thing that i didn't really like about the movie personally but aside that i think it's actually okay and it's actually a very interesting movie so this is literally how i spent my vows day nothing serious nothing much i wrote my final exams today my final exams for the third semester i wrote it today so grateful to god for that that's it Anyways, that's how I spent my vows day. Let me know how your vows day went in the comment section. I really want to know how you guys spent your vows day in the comment section, okay? So I'm heading home now. I just hope I find, um, I just hope I find a tram that is going to the dorm because literally when it's lit like this it takes like an hour for the next you know bus or tram to come so i'm just keeping my fingers crossed so guys it's actually very late this is like i think midnight but then um i checked the tram for I checked the tram and it's gonna take about 30 minutes and this is because like once it's midnight like 11 12 it takes like literally one hour to get like a tram so I was just like instead of me waiting standing under the code for 30 minutes I can as well use that 30 minutes to push the distance like to just walk back home it's not so far but rather than waiting i'd rather just you know use that 30 minutes to walk and any bus stop i get to that i have to meet up with the tram and no bus i think it's fine so and i was just thinking that it's midnight like almost midnight and you can see i'm literally like the only one walking on the streets right and i'm literally not scared like i'm not scared of anything and that is just the difference between like developed countries that have good system put in place and developing countries that doesn't have like good system put in place because you can imagine i'm literally like the only one working both at the back both at the front and this is currently late and there is no fear of you know your phone being snatched or somebody coming to kidnap you 
or somebody coming to do something bad you know like there is no fear at all and even the fact that it is mid almost midday you can see that there is street lights everywhere on the streets you know which even makes it easy for you to take your walk because if it was even late and it's dark I'm sure I'll rather wait <laughs> than risking it but because there's light everywhere it's literally like okay it's almost daytime and I'm just like this is just like the difference and I was just asking myself I said okay why is there high security they imagine as a lady walking by this time of the night and you're not even scared of somebody snatching your phone somebody coming to do something bad I'm literally like the only one on the street and I've been walking for like the past 10 minutes now and it's just because systems are being put in place there are jobs that are available especially if you're a citizen especially if you're a citizen there are jobs that are being put in place fine it might not be a big job you know it might not be a big job like something very big you know but you you definitely find something you can do it could be maybe driving bicycle to do uber it could be washing of plates it could be working in an eatery working in a store there's always something for them to do like there's literally something to do to at least make the minimum wage that you can actually sustain with so because there are jobs that they can actually do to get minimum wage to sustain themselves with then there is no essence or reason to engage in any you know illegal activities or engage in any activity that has to do with you know maybe making illegal phones or trying to rob somebody of their phones or trying to rob people of you know by maybe snatching their phones because you can literally walk there are literally jobs there are gardeners there are people who sweep you know there's almost like job for everybody like especially as a citizen i have to put that there also and that's just the difference between the country being developed and developing countries because developing countries like nigeria for an example you have to hustle you have to make way you have to struggle and that's why sometimes people involve themselves in things like snatching people's phone trying to get money through illegal means or trying to do things that you know doesn't really make sense and also because there's security everywhere forget the fact that i'm working late at night i'm going home late at night there are cameras everywhere not just no the cameras are working you know there are cameras on the street lights and they are actually working so that's another thing again because it's easy to trap or to know or have record of certain things on like africa or developing countries or nigeria where anything goes and anybody can literally just do anything that they want so I think that's basically like the difference and I'm just walking and I'm like can I walk like this back home by this time of the night on the lonely streets can I without being scared I cannot <laughs> because even people that are going to be calling you at home to make sure you are safe <laughs> but look at very safe and quiet everybody's on their own but they have their own bad side because abroad life can be boring you see the way nobody's on the streets it simply shows that it is a boring lifestyle in nigeria you definitely see people around you know in some junctions guys are gisting guys are talking guys are arguing girls are in the shops you know there are shops on the streets you see people buying things people selling things people you can greet Nigerian streets might not be as quiet as this, especially like this long distance. You could have seen one or two people, one or two things. That's the good side of it because you get busy, you get engaged. It's an happy lifestyle back home. But here, it's a boring life, a quiet life. Everybody's literally on their own. Nobody send you. You don't send anybody. Nobody's looking for you. You're not looking for anybody. Nobody's greeting you. You're not greeting anybody. So guys, I just go back. I think I should put it this way. Yeah. So guys, I just go back from the mall. I just go back from Pedronka. 
and i actually did like live video when i went to bedroka to show up and that is because in my previous live somebody said oh rather than doing live in the room what if i go to shop and then i just like do live just to show places or things around so i actually took you know notes of that and i tried it today so anyways i got a couple of things i got this banana one thing about like me that i started doing i think from last year is to be intentional about eating fruits um especially fruits that are on promo fruits that are on season like seasonal fruits like they tend to do promo at times so for me i just use the opportunity to eat fruit i try as much as possible to take fruits every day so this is what the banana looks like it tastes different from african banana to be very honest because this is not very sweet like african bananas but i got this it was actually on promo so i think i got it for is it for something per kg so i also got this yogurt i also got this yogurt just a very little cup then so this is just like fruits for the week <laughs> i also got orange because it's on promo also and of course fruits for the week then i got um kashamana i was telling people in the live today that kashamana is like what we used to make swallow like semo ugali you know just give us like this solid form to eat soup so this is what it looks like but originally it is not used by that for polish people at least that was on my professor's said one day i also got this popcorn i know one taste is like sugar no sorry one taste is more of salt one taste is more of butter but i can't really remember which one is salt which one is butter because i don't like salt um popcorn so i just mixed it to be able to discover like okay this is for salt or this is for sugar and one thing i'm going to say about polish food or polish snacks is the fact that they don't have like limits to certain things you see the one that have salt you see this one that have salt it's going to be extremely salty the one that have sugar extremely sugary the one that have butter extreme there is always extreme height of everything so i got this chicken I actually want to cook now it's actually late but it's fine i got this chicken so i think i got about 1.06 for about 9.5 kg 9.5 zloty because i want to make soup i don't know if i'm the only one but i am pretty tired of chicken like i am so so tired of chicken i got this time I got time. I actually like it in jello fries, jello spag, you know. So I got two of it. Then I got this. Also, like just like the picture, it's like carrots and green peas. I put this in my jello fries. At least another little way of taking in <laughs> vegetables. I don't know. So I got this spinach. It's a frozen um spinach because like i said i want to cook soup now so it's a frozen form of spinach and this is what it looks like this is my first time trying this brand of spinach i've tried like other brands but this is my first time so pretty much that is what i got that is what i got today and i don't know how i feel about that because sometimes you just go with the intention to buy one thing and then you find out that you are buying a lot of things it's currently 7 p.m <laughs> so let's just cook i don't know if i want to show you guys like cooking or we should cook together honestly i want to but at the same time i don't think i can and personally this is because this is 7 p.m and it's usually like busy um it's usually like a busy time in the kitchen and as you guys know i stay in the dormitory so it's like a busy time in the kitchen i'm sure there are lots of people in the kitchen and i don't want to inconvenient people with the camera you know 
doesn't make sense if it was like in the afternoon or morning hmm i love this flavor strawberry if it was in the afternoon or morning um i can so maybe i'll show you guys when i'm done cooking and i also want to edit a video that should be going up tomorrow which is saturday I want to edit it today hmm. while I'm cooking. Join me. I love it. Hmm. Hmm. So that's pretty much pretty much what I got today. Let's go and cook good morning it's a beautiful tuesday morning holiday is actually almost over school resumes on monday you know they sense timetable but this new semester we we just have two courses i think plus teasers making it three courses so basically wednesdays are going to be like the most busy day because that's when we have the two courses and then on monday it's when my group has scissors so when resumption is coming close like this let me just say this here <laughs> let me just say this here when resumption is coming it comes with two feelings one the feelings of okay i'm gonna be back to school i'm gonna see my friends i'm gonna hang out i'm gonna at least have somewhere to go to especially in this boring country you know but another mixed feeling is the fact that another tuition fee is knocking at your door <laughs> another tuition fee is knocking at your door so school resume next monday which is literally like less than a week it simply means that another tuition fee is knocking at your door less than a week so it's like two mixed feelings especially for those who are paying tuition fee you know like if you're on scholarship you don't need to be thinking about that you guys are very privileged because school is resuming you're not thinking about bills you're not thinking about school fees you're just happy to go to school i think but for those paying school fees especially for those who are the ones paying their school fees themselves i feel like it comes with two strong feelings one school is resuming two you have to shun fee to pay so it's like a mixed feeling in and out right but anyways i'm so grateful because this is like a final semester and god has been faithful if you are able to like if god has been able to like provide like first semester second semester third semester tuition fee of course it's going to provide the last semester tuition fee so i'm so grateful for that indeed it was a very you know great journey ups and down but all of this thank god for provision so this morning i just picked up these beans normal beans right so i'm gonna cook it today we got these beans from allegro like a shopping online shopping site i bought beans from them before but anyways i'm gonna do that today i'm gonna cook the beans today another thing again i'm gonna do is that i need to cut i have a couple of dresses i need to cut a couple of others i need to sew and shape i think about four about four to five orders but for today because i can't do everything the same day definitely that's why we have processing days and processing time so but for today i'm gonna cut two dresses so let me show you guys the the fabric that i'm using for this dress so just in case if you don't know i'm a fashion designer here i make dresses to anywhere in the world you can shop for fabrics alone or you can shop for your desired dress right so you can reach out to us to say you want to make this custom dress or you have a picture of the dress or you want us to create a dress for you we are very open to make you look beautiful so all you have to do is to follow us on instagram on the screen and also if you check out the description box you know there's my details are there or you can just drop a comment that you need to make an outfit and of course i'll reach out to you you know so please patronize your baby girl and thank you thank you so much to everyone who has been able to patronize us and who is still patronizing us i do not take it for granted and it is from this making of dresses that i've been able to 
pay tuition fee i've been able to live i've been able to sustain myself here and i'm forever grateful to god and also to my customers everywhere in the world so the fabrics for today is i'm making use of this i don't know okay can you guys see it it's more focused so can you guys see how cute the fabric is yeah so it's a very beautiful pattern fabric once i'm done sewing it i'm definitely 100 going to show you guys the style is a mermaid you know dress very beautiful very 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 beautiful now the second dress this is like a short summer gown because summer is coming and this is the best time to shop for your summer dress so this is it this is what the fabric looks like i really love the pattern of the fabric very cute very beautiful so my goal for today is to cook the beans put the beans on fire and also cut these two dresses now let me just say this i think over the weekend on saturday i got this pattern paper and i was like what is going on so let me show you guys i got this pattern paper i got this pattern paper here and for me it is pretty much expensive now if you've been following us from our sewing um sewing journey you guys know that pattern papers are available right we sell pattern papers back in nigeria and the pattern paper we sell in nigeria is 60 inches long 60 inches long which simply means that this is almost my height and the pattern paper i usually sell them for 3500 naira right 3500 naira for 60 inches height and also a bundle that is how much i sell the pattern paper and i'm going to say that when it comes to that pattern paper i've sold literally more than 50 to 100 pieces of that pattern paper because one the height is about 60 inches which means like you have a full length of pattern paper and secondly it comes in a bundle so it's still pretty much available in nigeria if you're interested in getting it you can just like check out the instagram handle on the screen and also the contact in the description box tell me why i brought life i got this this is not even up to 60 inches this is not up to 60 inches because this is where it gets to me why the one we sell for about 3005 gets to this point because it's about 60 inches this is where it gets up to and it is just 20 pieces just 20 pieces of this paper and i got it for about 40 zloty come on that's too expensive that is too exp expensive because if i want let me you know what let me just convert this 40 zloty to naira and let me just tell you guys how much this cost in naira so that you guys can really understand the pain that i feel shopping or buying this pattern paper i just feel like i can make the ones i have in nigeria to disappear <laughs> let me check the price so imagine like something that is been sold for 3005 and this possibility is literally going to be around 15 17 18 19 20 key for this 20 pieces and not even up to 60 inches 60 inches tall if you are in nigeria i think you need to grab that pattern paper because you guys don't know like good evening good evening how are you guys doing is it beautiful of course always beautiful beautiful evening and i don't know like sometimes maybe because it's holiday season so this morning i've just been lazing around but this evening i decided to start getting ready like start getting some things done first things first is um i want to do laundry i haven't done laundry in a while so we are going to do laundry together and also i want to cook so i'm thinking i need to cook beans not i'm thinking i definitely want to eat beans so um we're gonna cook beans together let us start let us start let us start <laughs> is one thing 
especially the cutting part cutting is one thing but the thing that people don't really talk about is how messed up your space is going to be just because you're trying to cut especially when you have to cut different dresses different styles see even if you are just cutting one dress your space is still going to be dirty because you're dealing with patterns you're dealing with fabrics you're going to have them on the floor and the the stress of arranging it back the stress of arranging it back it's another thing like another thing entirely i remember like back then when i was sewing from home in nigeria i'm just gonna call my sister i'm just gonna bribe her i'm just gonna beg her to just help me arrange it but now this is where i sleep this is where i live there is nobody to call there's nobody so i have to arrange it by myself let me show you guys how messed up my room is let's let me just show you guys don't judge me please <laughs> now on this bed focus on this bed i have this fabric that i'm working on and i just have this now let's move to this other bed i have this fabric i think i showed you guys this is the fabric the pieces of the fabric that is left i also have this lining that i used for this yeah also let me just show you guys all the mess at once yeah also i have like the paper this is where i dropped it and this is the cut version like you can see this is arranged because this is what i'm gonna use to this is what i'm gonna sew right these are like pieces don't let us even talk about the floor this is where the main mess is so this is another fabric i think i showed you guys this fabric this is another fabric that i've also i'm done cutting this and also this but for this i'm not done but i'm tired but let me show you guys where the real mess is the real mess is not even the bed okay let's say you can manage that but look at where the mess is look at and not only that is the fact that the waste bin is going to be getting filled up easily of course i have my tripod i also make use of this light and also this light yes it's still not very bright you can see the mess the mess is in this region which is literally like the whole room because what else do i have and of course we have our baby girl so the light this brightness is really not too bright because of the weather it's a bit foggy yesterday was even worse i said i wanted to cut yesterday but trust me i couldn't because of the weather but look at how it looks today it's still not very bright but anyways anyways i was able to just make use of this light and also this light but you know what before i start thinking of arranging i need to eat i've not eaten anything since morning because i woke up and i was like first thing first is i have to get these dresses at least cut them so this is 3 p.m i need to get something something very easy 